Good evening, Australia. Let me first take a moment to thank you all for being here tonight. It is an honour and a privilege to see so many huge names and talent and experts in showbiz on this panel before me. Tonight, we are here to celebrate icons of pop culture as part of the inaugural induction of our most deserving superstars into the Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame. I'm sure that this person needs no introduction. She is one of the most iconic names in Australia and indeed the world of pop culture. She is an absolute internationally recognised princess of pop with all aspects of her work and career contributing to make her the perfect candidate. But first, from the beginning. She was born on the 28th of May 1968 in Melbourne, Australia. As the eldest of three siblings, she spent the early years of her life in the suburbs of Melbourne and was a very typical young Australian girl, however, was unsettled with her family having to move frequently. She dreamed of life on the stage, and her first larger acting part came on the popular Aussie TV show, The Henderson Kids, but disappointingly, her character was written out after just two seasons on the show. Lucky for all of us, this turned out to be a blessing in disguise for the young and diminutive young actress, as straight after getting her high school certificate, she was then able to successfully audition for the role of Charlene Mitchell in the incredibly popular international soap, Neighbours. Although unknown to anyone at the time, but the young, relatively inexperienced, newly cast Australian girl would go on to become one of the country's most popular and influential figures of all time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, who would be most likely deserving of induction into this Hall of Fame after being on Neighbours alone? Her role as Charlene quickly became one of the most iconic characters on television, loved not only in Australia, but internationally by the cult-like following that the show as a whole had gained. Charlene was no blonde bimbo, but very unstereotypical for the time, portrayed as a feisty and outspoken tomboy mechanic. This change from the norms of the time proved to be the first of many times where this transcending woman would influence change in social stereotypes through her impact both on and off screen. Her on screen relationship with Scott Robinson, played, played by Jason Donovan, also became vastly popular with viewers and was a major boost for the entire show's ratings. After multiple breakups during their first year, the couple would eventually culminate in one of Neighbours and even television's most iconic moments. On the 1st of July 1987, Neighbours episode 523 was aired. It featured a wedding, but not just any, any wedding. It was Scott and Charlene, and the show went to air to an audience of 21.5 million eager and enthralled fans. It was labelled a TV phenomenon, and regarded as what an Australian royal wedding would resemble, in terms of the popularity of the event, especially in England. This incredible event helped to propel her fame, with her winning multiple awards during her time on Neighbours. She won four Logies for her portrayal of Charlene and became the youngest person ever to win the acclaimed Gold Logie as the country's most popular television performer. With her increased credibility from the show enabling her to do something rarely successful in the world of popular culture, a career change. In 1988, she left the cast of Neighbours to focus on her music endeavours. I am sure you have no doubt guessed by now who I am referring to here. The one, the only, the very Australian international superstar, Kylie Minogue. I think you can all agree, ladies and gentlemen, that Kylie Minogue's hugely fruitful beginnings in the TV film industry, combined with her ability to transform and adapt herself to a complete transition proves how truly de deserving she is of a place in the Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame. And now for her story about changing pop music forever. Kylie's transition between industries in the realm of pop culture began in 1987 at a benefit concert in Fitzroy Football Club with other Neighbours cast members. She performed I Got You Babe as a duet with actor John Waters and the locomotion as an encore. 
This performance subsequently led to her being signed by Australian flagship record label Mushroom Records. Minogue's very first single, The Locomotion, spent an incredible seven weeks at number one on the singles charts in Australia. The song won her an ARIA award for the year's highest selling single, with the song going on to be Australia's highest selling single of the 1980s, despite only being released in 1987. Off the triumph of this, Kylie was then in a position to work with the very best in the industry, including world-renowned producers Stock, Aitken and Waterman, with her first studio album, Kylie, also achieving astounding success and helped to cement her place as a fully-fledged artist when she made the decision to leave the cast of Neighbours in 1988. I should not think that there would now be any doubt for you that Kylie Minogue isn't clearly more than worthy of a place in this Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame, the very name of which epitomises all aspects of her life and career that I have presented to you so far. This, however, ladies and gentlemen, was only the very beginning of the music journey of one of Australia's biggest stars. Over the coming decades, Kylie would become Australia's highest selling artist, releasing her 14th and most recent studio album, Golden, in 2018, hitting number one in Australia and the UK. One person who has arguably had the largest influence on the music Minogue would release and how she was viewed in the public eye was Michael Hutchins. Kylie dated the frontman of the band In Excess from 1989 to 1991 before, before the pair split, with her being dropped for Danish supermodel Helena Christensen. This relationship, however, brought Minogue a reasonable amount of extra credibility simply by being with an already well-established, homegrown Australian rock star. Kylie is certainly deserving of every ounce of popularity and credibility she has to her name, with countless amounts of hard work and dedication being put into each and every song the pop icon released. In just a few short years, Kylie Minogue was able to achieve what seemed impossible, an effective change between pop culture mediums. She did not become just another actress with a failed endeavour in the music industry, she transformed not only herself and her own vastly successful career, but the entire music industry itself. It's for these reasons that it is clear to see that a Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame is certainly not complete without a legend is not just one, but multiple forms of pop culture. Throughout her illustrious career filled with incredible achievements, of which I have only been able to partly show to you today. Kylie Minogue has consistently pushed boundaries both in her works and in her life outside of acting and singing. Even from very early on in her breakthrough into a chapter in music, she gained a large following from people in the LGBT field with an increasingly large number of gay fans. Rather than disregard this devoted fan group, Kylie went against the social norms of the time in the early 1990s and openly owned her support for the people supporting her. In doing so, she became an icon and representative for these minority groups and helped lead a new wave of understanding and acceptance right through the turn of the century. Minogue's open and forward-thinking views were not seen from other pop culture personalities at the time, with her being quoted in an interview acknowledging my gay audience has been with me from the very beginning. As well as providing a boost to her own career, the celebrities' backing of these groups provided many people with both hope and determination for change against the discrimination and limitations of rights for these minorities. It is therefore clear that a figurehead for so many underrepresented fans is well deserving of a place in the Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame. Well, ladies and gents, isn't that what pop culture is all about? Transmitting the modern popular ideas and social behaviour via mass media. Then surely the personality that helped create and influence the very ideas and culture of society must therefore be deemed a legend in that area. And that description certainly is the great Kylie Minogue. There are also other areas of pop culture that Kylie has played a major role on adapting during her impressive and still ongoing career. Possibly the largest and most famous example of this are the times Minogue has challenged gender and social stereotypes of the time. Through this, 
Kylie created fashion's most iconic moment with the outfit in her 2000 music video, Spinning Around. The combination of an off-white, loosely fitting, low back cut top with the now world famous gold hot pants made for a music video that played very highly off Minogue's sex appeal. The video, and in particular, the very revealing gold pants, became such an international sensation that the pants have been deemed culturally significant and are on display in her hometown of Melbourne. It was the first release after the death of former boyfriend Michael Hutchins and marked a turning point in the representation of Kylie as an international sex icon. Through this, she changed the portrayal of the kind of woman to wear such clothing. Before this culture-changing event, only women seeing as having very little self-respect would wear such outfits. Kylie completely altered that, with her progression from the tomboy mechanic she originally played on Neighbours to her new image that incorporated a large amount of sex appeal. Therefore, it should be clearly evident that a personality that has been able to alter the very construct of popular culture of the time must have a place in the Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame. So, ladies and gentlemen of the panel, it has been my honour to represent the great Kylie Minogue in proving to you just how justified she is, with your approval, of an induction into the official Legends of Pop Culture Hall of Fame. From a typical Australian girl growing up in the suburbs of Melbourne, to achieving great successes in her acting career and making a move few could have done or thought possible of Minogue, to become Australia's highest selling artist. Along the way, she has pushed boundaries and helped redefine the culture that she made popular. Through a combination of hard work, perseverance and of course the gold hot pants, it is surely clear that Australian superstar Kylie Minogue no longer just the girl next door, but a true legend of pop culture.